June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Gold turn the gold turn county in their gold turn notions. Hi, Mr. Cully. Hi, Jimmy. Look what I got for my birthday yesterday. That's fine. It's got a special close-up lens, a quick action shutter. Who do they think they are flash. anyway? Just look, Mr. Cully. I think they can run rough shot over a man's property. Mr. Cully, you aren't even looking. Look at looking at what, Jimmy? My new camera. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I guess my mind's so chock full of what I'm going to say when I get to town that, well, I wasn't paying much attention, but ooh, <laughs> that sure is a fine-looking camera. Hey, Mr. Kiley, watch out! Uh, nope. Oh, okay. The shelf. What are you all dressed up for, Mr. Cully? Oh, just trying to make a good impression, Timmy. Though I don't suppose it'll count for much with those old stuffed shirts down at the county office. What's the matter? They raise your taxes? Oh, worse than that, Timmy. I had a letter today from the county office telling me the new gas line is going to go right through here. Right dang back through my barn. Gosh, Mr. Cully, that's terrible. You better... Timmy, I've been around here 40 years... And that old barn's been there for a darn sight longer. And there ain't no pen-pushing county clerk is gonna make me move my animals out. Is that why you're going to town, Mr. Cully? I'm a citizen. I got my rights, and they better start respecting them. Gee, I sure wish there was something last thing I could do to help. Well, there's a... Yeah, yeah, there is something that uh, you and Lassie could do, if you will. Sure, anything. Well, uh, if you'd keep an eye on the farm while I'm away, uh, get the stock uh, fed and bedded down. We'll do it, won't we, girl? <laughs> and, Timmy, see nobody goes near that barn. Don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Cully. Oh, Timmy, I ain't worrying so long as you and Lassie are on the job. instruments and take some readings. Has this got anything to do with Mr. Cully's barn? More likely with a new gas line. Well, Mr. Cully went to town to tell those men that they couldn't put that line through his property. Oh, he has, has he? That barn's been there more than 40 years. Well, it won't be here much longer. Come on, Harry, let's set up. Son? Yes, sir. Call it off, will you please? She's only doing her job. 
Well, we've got our job to do. Call off your dog. Mr. Cully wouldn't like it. Look, we've got to plot the elevation here and take some readings. The sooner we do it, the sooner we get out of here. Mr. Cully told us to watch over his place. He doesn't want any strangers going near the barn. But the county assigned us to do this job. I'm sorry, mister. Come on, Harry. Go on, get out of there. Get out. Go on. Look, boy, I'm getting tired of this. You're going to call off your dog, or aren't you? I told you. She's only doing a job. Come on. We'll report this back at the office. <laughs> Thanks a heap, Jimmy. Well, hop in and we'll drive you home. And then that other surveyor said that he was going to report it back at his office. Well, you can't blame them for that, Jimmy. They was just trying to follow out orders. Are you going to chase them off your property if they come back again? No, no use to do that. They just get a court order. I thought you were going to tell the county that they couldn't put that line through your property. Oh, I told them plenty. But nothing I can say or do is going to stop them. Gosh. Gosh is right. What's the matter, dear? I can't help thinking about Mr. Cully having to move all of his animals to another place. Oh, well, there's no use worrying about it if it really has to be done. But he has to turn that old shed into a temporary barn until he can build a new one. Oh, I'm certainly sorry he has to go through all that. Mom, is it okay if Lassie and I go over there tomorrow after school and help him round up all of his animals? Yes, I think that's a good idea. Mr. Cully should feel much better having friends help him with his work. Gee, thanks, Mom. Just about it. Cow, pigs, chickens, ducks, goats, and uh, one sheep. It's just about it, isn't it? Yeah, I think that does it. Yeah. <laughs> They're possums. How'd they get in here? Who probably picked that out as a good place to be safe from coyotes and foxes. You mean they actually live here in the barn? Well, that's the way it appears to me. But we'll have to move them, won't we? Huh? Well, they'll be killed when the men come to tear down the barn if we don't. My jingo, you're right. Let's get them out of there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. 
Start handing them out. Back up, girl. Come on. Come on, little fella. Good. Shape mm Again, too, huh? Oh, JJ. Now we're just ain't no use. The more we try to move them out, the more they come right back. Yeah, I know it. We're fighting a losing battle, Tim. That's why, because uh, we're fighting against animals' rightful instincts. We're just trying to save their lives. Well, now, this old barn's been here over 40 years, collecting more animals than Noah's Ark. It spells home to them. They picked it out, and now they just don't aim to leave. They figure if a man has a right to, to a home of his choice, why, so's an animal. But they'll all be killed when the bulldozers come. Yeah, yeah, I know it. And you know it, too, to me, and Lassie knows it. But how are you going to tell that? And so you see, boys and girls, when a bill is introduced in the House of Representatives, it must then go to the Senate to be passed. And even then, it can be vetoed by the President. If it isn't vetoed, it becomes one of the laws of the land. Yes, Susan? Miss Hazlitt, can laws ever be changed? Oh, yes, laws can be changed or modified or, or even revoked completely. They can? Yes, indeed, Susan. This is a democracy, you know. And that means that the people, just like you and I, have a voice in the government. If a law goes through and the people find that it isn't operating correctly, then they can set about having it changed, or even taken off the books altogether. But, Miss Hazlitt, how could that be done? Well, you've heard of the force of public opinion, haven't you? The public finds its voice through radio, television, or mostly through the newspapers. And when that public voice becomes loud enough, insistent enough, even the lawmakers have to listen. And that's how our laws become changed. Yes, Timmy? Miss Hazlitt, would important people, like lawmakers, would they really listen to just average folks like us kids? The voice of the people means the voice of everybody, Timmy, including girls and boys just like you. Now, tomorrow's lesson will cover the executive branch of the federal government. The president, vice president, and members of the Hi, Mr. Cully. Oh, hi, 
are you, Timmy? Did you figure out a way of saving the animals? No, no, there ain't no way. Well, I did. Huh? Can I take some pictures? Pictures? Mm -hmm, with my new camera. Pictures all around the barn. Well, you might as well take them now before they tear the old barn down. Thanks, Mr. Cully. Come on, girl, we gotta work fast. Is good photography. Yeah, it's kind of hard working with animals. They move so. No, you've done a good job. Thanks, Mom. Here, would you check my letter and see if all the spelling's right? To the editor of the Calverton Times, dear sir. You see, sir, if the barn is torn down, all these animals will be killed and their homes destroyed. Yours sincerely, T. Martin. That's quite a human interest story, huh? Sure. Even the art has impact. Hmm. T. Martin. Come in. Mrs. Martin? Yes? Is uh, Mr. Martin home? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He won't be here until Sunday. Oh, that's too bad. Can, is there something I can do? Well, you see, I'm Wayne Harrison of the Calverton Times, and this is our photographer, Bill Dixon. How do you oh, do, Miss Martin? How do you do? I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, we were particularly interested in that letter your husband sent us. A, a letter from my husband? Oh, no, my son wrote that. Yes, he sent you that letter. T. Martin? Yes. He, um, well, he thought it would sound more grown up than signing Timmy Martin. Well, that's even better. Could we see him and get a picture or two? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Lassie, uh, will you go get Timmy? Well, we'd like to use his letter, together with his photographs, as a special feature. A plea like that to save innocent animals from certain destruction makes for strong reader interest. Well, he hopes to influence the county to change its plans. Well, you never can tell. Power of the press, you know. <laughs> Want me, Mom? Yes, dear. These uh, gentlemen want to see you. This is Timmy and Lassie. At T. Martin, I'm W. Harrison of the Calverton Times. How do you do, sir? Hey, that's very good. Hold that, will you? <laughs> right here now. Mr. Cully! Mr. Cully! Hi, Jimmy. Did you see the paper? Did I see the paper? Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, Timmy. I bought six whole copies of them. Gosh, isn't it great? I never expected this much. No, and I didn't expect all this excitement either. Timmy, you sure opened up a can of peas with that letter of yours. You know, I've been getting phone calls all day. Wonder if it'll do any good with the county. Well, all I know is uh, they've been snowed under with phone calls, too. The voice of the people. That's what my teacher, Miss Hazlitt, said. Yeah, the voice of the people. Seems, seems like the whole town's interested in that old barn, Timmy. Then it won't be torn down after all. Well, yeah. Yeah, the gas line has got to go through, Timmy. Oh, no. Oh, but don't you worry. We've got, the animals are going to be saved. How? Well, uh, the county has promised to send a crew of trained conser... Conser... 
conservationists to move the animals to a game refuge. But will they be happy there? Happy? Oh, hey, Jimmy, these men are experts. They even know how to make worms happy. <laughs> surveyors again. Yeah, I expected them. I'm sorry, Lassie. The gas line has to go through. Don't worry, Lassie. All of your animal friends will be taken care of. They'll all be saved. You know, Mr. Cully, I guess there's some things Lassie just can't understand. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> 